everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since we posted a video, but the weather's kind of been a little crappy and we couldn't get out and do much. Pretty much just been up doing shop work and fiddling around with a few things. As you all know, we got the new floater truck in. We have been working on that, getting it ready to go. It's about done. We just have a few things we need to paint, so pretty minor details need to be done to it, but then we'll be ready to do a test load on it. Right now we're uh, getting ready to feed hay. We uh, weaned calves last weekend. No, it was weekend four we weaned calves, but we got all of our young steers and heifers. We separated them. We put them in our, on the feeding floor. Now I got to feed a bale to them. All the regular cows, they got hay right now, but it is getting close to calving time for them. Except some of the others, I, it's still, they were calved in the fall, the late fall. They weren't around when that others got bred. So I don't think they're bred. I may be wrong, but I don't know. But I do have something to discuss. We got a uh, deal in the works. That uh, the 4230, we might, well, I know we're trading it off. We're going to be getting a new piece of equipment to replace it. A little more horsepower, going to be a little more useful. But in the future, I will give more details and just stay tuned when there's updates on that. So, enjoy the rest of the video. And Right when the snow was starting to hit, I got the Super C, and I brought this manure spreader over here so it'd be out of the way, and so we'd have it in under a roof. Well, we're going to need room here, because we're going to need to start setting things over here out of the way for spring. We're going to put this over in the stall next to the planter, that way it's out of the way. Grandpa's bringing a skid steer. This is probably where we're going to try to set it if we can get it in that space between the wall and the planter. I think if we maneuver it just right we might be able to fit her in there.
cab's fed and we got the manure spread removed out of the way. We're going to take the four wheelers, ride back to the uh, property line between us and my grandpa's cousin, Carol Gerke. And he's been doing a lot, Carol's been doing a lot of dozing back there, clearing brush out right between the two places, getting firewood and just getting rid of that because it's kind of a nuisance when you got big planters like 16 rows like we're all running. We just cleared it out so that way we could both farm a few extra feet and there ain't nothing to take all the nutrients from the ground right along there so it ought to be better planting. We're going to ride back there and see what he did because we heard him dozing this morning. We're going to check everything out and hopefully it'll be dinner time the time we're done. Logging road down through here. rock in there to fill this up good but either dug or hedges have been running up and down here and causing that. Who do you think it is? Jumped up over and cut out a crust here. That's the kind of one that you do. The wind out of the west, Jay, we can bring that right across. <laughs> 